the rule. The rule is if you're multiplying, and this is multiplying, right, and you have the same base, which is 8, right, then the rule is to add the exponents. Right, so that would look like 8, and then you're going to take your exponents, which is 2 plus the negative 3. Right, so these are 2 positives and 3 negatives, right, which leaves you with a negative 1. So 8 to the negative 1. And then remembering that a negative exponent means division, so it could have also been 1 over 8. This is okay. This is also okay. And on the quiz, it may ask you to select all that apply that are equivalent. So you would pick this one and this one, right? Because these are both equivalent. The other way would to remember, right, that this is the same thing as 8 times 8. And this is, right, because it's a negative exponent, this means division, not a negative number, right? So over here, keep this in mind, right? This is not equal negative 8 or negative one over eight. It has nothing to do with the actual negative value. It has to do with an inverse operation. Okay, and so right here, um, same thing, right? This is one eighth times one eighth times one eighth. And so you can see that this and this cancel off and make one and this and this will cancel off and make one leaving you with just that. So you can think about it in a couple different ways. Same thing with this Right, for me, the easiest is to think to myself, right, dividing with the same base, right? So if it's, remember, this is division. So if you're going to dividing, the rule is to subtract the exponents. Right, and so then what this is going to look like, it's going to look like um, three, and then the exponents is six minus two. So you subtract the top exponent from the bottom exponent. Right, so this would be 3 to the 4th. The other way you could have thought of this, right? you could have thought of it like, um, like 6, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3 is multiplied by 2 more 3s. These cancel off, and you're left with 3 to the 4th. And you could have also thought of this as a 3 to the 6th times 3 to the negative 2. Right? And then if you add your exponents, you would have ended up over here. So lots of different ways that you can think about the same problem. For me, I just like to go straight away. It, this is division, so I'm going to subtract my exponents, and that would be the answer. Okay. And this last example, right, this is a power right, of a power, right? So this is a power of this other power. And so you have to remember the rule for this one is to multiply. And so what this really means, right, so then if we looked at the rule, it would be 4 to the third times 4, because those are those two exponents, so 4 to the 12th. But if we think about what this actually means, right, because you could think of it that way as well. If you can't remember the rule, then you just need to remember what an exponent means. This means this, whatever's in here, multiplied four times, right? So four to the third times four to the third times four to the third times four to the third. And then, right, we just break. So I'm going to write these multiplying down here. This goes, right? Then we take these four to the thirds, and this is four times 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 four. And so now you can see that if you take them all together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, there are 12 fours being multiplied in a row, right? So the rule is faster, but if you just remember what exponent